you were waiting for it, weren't you? I just don't even I'll know. I'll throw it up from Dead is Dumb. Family room. I don't know what to do anymore. This has turned into some production that we just... I don't... I don't, I don't even know how we got here, but we're here. And it is Debt Kicking Sunday. So, I have to... I have to unfortunately do this with this guy. Who just followed me home. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sorry if we annoy you in advance. It's kind of the moods we're in. Once again, this is all free advice. <laughs> okay, guys, so we've got. Hey, you do not need that. That will drive me crazy. I'm good. That drives me crazy when the video is on. Can I, I edit good. this? No. Give it to me now. <laughs> Here. Right, leave you it leave it there? Leave it <laughs> Back off. Do that your fat fingers. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what we have this week are um, we are loving your guys's comments, and I love that in your comments you're starting to have comments with other people, which it's awesome that we've started this. We're enablers. We're enablers. So I love to see you guys talking to each other. Your victory stories are awesome. Keep sharing those, please. We're social butterflies. How am I supposed to follow that? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Why don't you read a question? No, go for it. Gonna... No, they hear me all the time. What? This question right here. How do you motivate yourself? To... Uh, slow. <laughs> How do you motivate yourself to start baby steps? I try not to buy wanted items when I am out, but it is hard for me to say no, even with my children. And what do I do with extra items that I do not need? Such as toys, clothes, makeup, anything like that. What do you do with makeup that you do not need? My four-year-old wears it for me. That's a good question. So, how do we mot our motivate ourselves to start baby steps? Guys, we were not always in a happy position. We pretty much got thrown a Financial Peace University kit. So when you join Financial Peace University, Dave Ramsey's, um, you pay $100 and you get this, this lifetime kit. In it comes books and workbooks and tools that will help you get off of credit cards and get onto cash. We um, had our heels in the ground and we did not want to do it. We did not want to do it. And it finally took a friend throwing a kit at us and saying, here you go. We have a spare kit. So we couldn't say no. <laughs> so that's how we became motivated to start the baby stuff. Not exactly a great story, but we were seriously in such a sad, dark place that there was no motivation. We were just drowning and miserable. Um, so when we signed up and we went to our first financial peace class, it was not a happy thing. No, the dude told me to get rid of my stuff. Yeah. Our motivation came just by, I would say, going, to, kind of signing up for Financial Peace University. And each class, it's, it's a motivating program. And so each class, you feel like you're making progress just by the changes you learn. And you if you show up, up, you do the program, it works. And you implement them, yes. If you don't do it, it doesn't work. You start to win. <clears throat> and then you just, you have little mini breakthroughs and that keeps your motivation going. And that's why he breaks it into seven baby steps. Um, and so I would say best advice, best money you'll ever spend is go to take a financial peace course class near you. Go on DaveRamsey.com um, and then you can find a class. Uh, there's a classes button on top and you can uh, scroll down and look for a class near you. But definitely being surrounded also by a group of people who are in the same boat as you are, going through the same issues, um, hearing their stories. How could you not be motivated? It was fantastic. So. And then once you get started, you obviously you write all your stuff down, all your bills, your debts, and all that good stuff. And then you just start you start his program and his plan, and then it's all on paper, and you, you just work it out. It will change your life, you guys. I promise it's really hard to... I mean, you've heard about us talk about it. It's really hard to accept that you're in the place where you're at um, and that just to kind of accept the stupid tax, Dave Ramsey calls it. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it takes more than a day to get out of this. It's hard. It's, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take more than so a day. So if you're in it for quick results, it's not going to happen. 
Yeah. So that's, don't get discouraged. It takes time. Crock pots, baby, no microwaves. We're in the crock pot business. Yep. We have our crock pot. All right, on next. With applesauce. Thank yeah. you for your fantastic question. Um, well, the second half of that question. Part two of the fantastic question. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what do I do with extra items that I do not need, such as toys, clothes, makeup, anything like that? Craigslist it, baby. I was going to say garage sale. Garage sale it. You can make a lot of money at garage sales. Don't list prices on your thing. Garage sales are the last step before Goodwill. the dump. <laughs> it's not like I want to make $40 on my holy PJs I don't wear anymore. It's more of a $0.25 cents the next step before the trash can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're doing to get rid of it, to exactly. put the money towards your baby, whatever baby stuff you're working on. Um, I have a girlfriend who eBays a lot. She'll go to garage sales, find um, goodies, and then she eBays them. That's how she makes a lot of her money. So um, eBay is another good choice. Facebook, you can take a picture with your phone, link it to Facebook, and put a price on it. You know, And then everybody on your Facebook page gets whatever it is that you're wanting to get rid of. So those, I hope, are some ideas. Um, that will help you out. But garage sale by far, that's the garage sale is what got us our um, emergency fund. Our baby emergency. The little our baby. Second the little fund. cute baby emergency. Do we have to keep telling that story? I just said second. Some of us pay a little more stupid tax than others. We need, we need a video with stupid tax so you know. Stupid tax, you guys know. It's like when you do something stupid and it just costs you money. You just know it was stupid, and you learn from it. I learned. Stop All right. It. Okay, next question. How do you get rid of a car that has negative equity? Abandon it. Okay, next to the spouses not being on board, this, <laughs> he's over here in his own <laughs> funny world. We get asked this question, guys, a lot. This There's is our... a lot of you out there with cars that maybe you've paid stupid tax on, and they're negative equity. What this doing? is a hard one. There is no feel good, best decision here. It's most of the time it's a bad, bad decision. It's just choosing the better, the bad decision. And it's going to hurt. Because if you're upside down, there's no way you're going to get out of that. At some point, you're going to have, if you have to get rid of the car, you sell the car what you can get rid of the car for. And then if, say, the car's worth 15 and you know you're going $15? 15000 I want a car for $15. The car's, you owe 15000 and it blue looks at 12 and you're not going to get a dollar more than 12 and you sell it for 12 and you just have to take a check to the credit union for three. Okay, thousand. you kind of said that a little bit fast. Let's break it down in one minute. Do you want to get terms. the finger, pin, finger paints out? <laughs> okay, I can relate to that. If, Guys, if you, say a car, okay, you've got a car loan for $10,000. You've already had your try. I am not editing this. This is a one taker. Okay, so you have a car for $10,000. It's worth $8,000. You sell it for what it's worth to a private party. The eight. The eight, but you cannot give that, that title to that private party because the loan is not is not paid in full yet. So you have to take out a personal loan from like your credit union for the two thousand dollars to make up. Or if you have that two thousand dollars cash, you would get rid of that. But more likely when you go to the credit union or wherever the title is, mm -hmm. you just say I'm getting rid of it for eight. I know I owe ten. I need to work that on a side on my end of it, but they need to have the title. Yeah. And that's what you do. Because soon you will be a lot more than two thousand dollars upside down. If you're two thousand next year you're gonna be four thousand. It's gonna depreciate faster than you can make payments on it. Yes. So get out of it and um, do not And pay cash for your next car. Yeah. Because until you guys get out of it, this is gonna it could seriously derail you from making progress in your baby steps. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the fence, should I or shouldn't I sell? the car and get mm -hmm. out of it. Take your stupid tax, even if you don't have two thousand dollars, you it's just your stupid tax you have to pay and move on. And don't ever don't ever lease a car. Ever. Ooh. And if you're in a lease, get out of it. Cash. As as run, 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 because that that's a whole nother video in itself. But Leases are bad news. It's a great question. Sorry we didn't have better news for you. Like you said, it's usually it's it's a bad, bad situation. You just have to make the, the better, the bad decisions. So it's a hard one to get out of. I hope you can get out of it and uh, let us know. Thanks yeah. for the question. And also, in the meantime, you're probably going to need something to drive. I don't know. If you do, you just get the $500 beater car that will get you for where you need to go. So...
Um, anyway, okay, then we get on. We go from the sad, sad, sad to the victories. It's the mood I'm in. Are you winking? He does this. See, he I don't winks at wink. you guys, and then I can't. It's on this side of this snarls right here, so I can't ever see him winking. I can wink on that side. This is he's got wink on this side. <laughs> You've got a secret code with him. <laughs> it's a camera. <laughs> so then, why do you explain it? You do it. You just get tired, and you only blink one side. If I have to explain it, you don't get it. Moving on. Victory stories. Okay, happiness. Happiness. So, first victory story is we decided to use our tax return to pay off the last bit of our loan last month. Ooh, ooh. Now all that is left is the student loans. It's so nice to not have that payment and stress in our lives anymore. And what was even more rewarding was we know where our tax return went. We don't have to wonder three months from now what in the world we spent that chunk of change on. Amen to that. You feel better? Good job, you guys. That's Atta awesome. Boy. That's awesome. You know what we did with our tax returns for many, 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 many years? Wait, we don't know. <laughs> I know, you just want to know. What did we do? What they just said. A couple months down the road, we were like, no, where'd that money go? we didn't blow it. We did the same repetitive process every year when we got our tax money back. It paid off our oh, credit, our credit cards. cards. From the previous year. And then, like, around this time of the year, we're like, oh, wow, we're paid off. Let's go, uh, let's go buy something. So then it would start the vicious cycle for next year. Yep. So, anyway, good for you guys for getting your stuff paid off. Now it's time to get the student loans and your debt snowball and yeah. kick it. Yeah, hit it, baby. Good job, you guys. Good job. Next one. I can't wait to share our victory story of when we pay off our first vehicle, but we just aren't there quite yet. Soon, though. Oh, we did buy a one-year-old Ashley furniture couch off of, a Cra off of Craigslist for 100 bucks. I have a secret obsession with Craigslist. Love it. When we had budgeted 250 so you bought it for 100 when we had budgeted 250 for it. Um, watching Craigslist for a few weeks till you find a deal makes the waiting totally worth it. Totally. Like, totally. You have to understand the thrill of the hunt to get this victory story. The but part of the thrill of the hunt I get is, is Sunday afternoon. It's 7, 8 o'clock at night. I'm winding down for the night. And wife surfing the internet. Oh, honey, let's go look at this on Craigslist. It's only an hour away on a Sunday night. Because Apparently, when the well deal it. comes available, you gotta get on it. He's learning. <laughs> Come on. Apparently, there's good deals Back out there. Me up. There. Okay. What you do is you know what you want, and you just wait for it to come up. And then when it, you've waited and put in all those hours of searching and there's nothing, to actually see it pop up, there's nothing like that thrill. Well, well I get that, but, you know, it was 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday night. Things like this don't come up all the time. I'm sure it would have been there Monday morning. I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Anyway, that's sorry. it. He's like in a weird mood and it's just throwing this whole video off. He's tired. He was falling asleep in church today. Oh. Yeah. He started breathing heavy and stuff. Well, that's because I'm fat. <laughs> you were borderline asleep. Anyway. So anyway, thank you guys for those victory stories. We love it. What are you doing with your tax return? Good question. Awesome question. So leave a comment below. Let us know what you're doing with your tax return, any victory stories and questions you want to share, and we will address them next week from our happy, humble home. Signing out from Dead is Done Grand Dining Room. Look how short that finger is. We'll see you next week. Grand. <laughs>